Hi, what's up, guys? Today, let's look at the link code um, 513, this problem. Perfect squares. Uh, this is another problem about the DP dynamic programming. Let's uh, look at this uh, question uh, description. Uh, you were given a positive integer n, and you need to find the least number of uh, perfect square numbers. For example, 1, 4, 9, 16. They are, they are all perfect squares. So you need to find all these perfect squares, and and when they sum up, they equals to n. So what does it mean? Uh, look at this example. If n equals to 12, and we will return 3 because 12 can be represented as 3 perfect squares uh, sum. Um, they are 4 plus 4 plus 4. And 4 is a perfect square, so you can find 3 perfect squares to represent this n, n equals to 12. And same thing for 13. And 13, uh, tricky part is that um, 13 can be represented as 4 plus 9. So we will return 2. And also 13 can be uh, represented as 12 plus 1. 12 can be represented by 4 plus 4 plus 4. So actually 13, you can find multiple uh, perfect squares answers, but uh, we're, we're just uh, returning the uh, least number. So that's why we return 2. So this is the uh, question description. So how do we resolve this? As we mentioned, uh, we're going to use uh, dynamic programming to resolve this. Um, to use dynamic programming, we need to uh, give uh, uh, resolve four subtasks. Uh, task one, definition. Use uh, dynamic, dynamic programming, we have to uh, define a DP array. So um, in this question, we're going to just use uh, a one dimension array, uh, DPI. But the question is that uh, what kind of definition will give this. Today, um, the DP definition is quite different from previous what we have. Uh, we may give it a definition um, of I. The, the sub subscript is like a coordinate, right? In previous, it can be one dimension coordinates or uh, be two uh, dimensional um, grade coordinates. But in today's problem, this subscript is no longer the coordinates. Actually, it's going to be the value or it's going to be the answer. So what does that mean? I mean, our answer is to, uh, you know, calculate the perfect squares, right? So here, um, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the question is to calculate the least number of perfect square numbers, um, which sums to n. So DPI, uh, we just uh, define it in this way. DPI stands for the least number of per perfect square numbers uh, of given integer i. Uh, what does it mean? It means, uh, in our case, dp12 equals to what? Equals to 3. dp13 equals to uh, 2. Is that right? Right. So dpi, i is just this number, and dpi is our answer. So i is not a subscript, i is uh, the value. I mean, it's kind of uh, tricky, but but in a later tutor tutorials, we will be uh, covering more and more about this. This is a new kind of db. Uh, you can just uh, you know try to understand right now. Okay, so... Uh, after this definition, uh, we we'll, we'll move on to the next one, dp, uh, the answer. Uh, obviously, the answer will be uh, dpn. All right. So the third one actually is uh, very, very tricky. We need to figure out a, a state transfer equation. So uh, how to resolve this? Um, this still is a little bit different. Because um, dynamic programming is all about... Uh, the study of the uh, state, uh, adjacent state, uh, transfer the relationships. Um, actually, the states not only just the adjacent states, it can be any states or intermediate states. So today, in our problem, we will be using the uh, intermediate states. 
um, what does it mean? Uh, we mean that uh, for this dvi plus j um, multiplied by j, um, i is one state and j multiplied by j is another state. state. We actually can uh, establish relationships like this. This answer, dp uh, value, will be um, calculated in this way. You know, j multiplied by j, this number definitely is the uh, perfect square. So, so this answer can be dpi plus 1, right? Because uh, the dpi's value plus 1 perfect square, we can just, uh, you know, update this guy's value. And also, this guy's already got a value, which is dpi plus j multiplied by j. So we don't know which one is uh, smaller, so we just uh, use the uh, uh, mean um, function to get a smaller one. So this is the uh, state transfer equation that we found. So again, um, dp is all about to uh, you know study the uh, um, state relationships transfer equations. It does not have to be the adjacent states. Um, it can be intermediate states. And also for state transfer equation, it does not have to be like a dpi equals to something. It can be i and j, they have some sort of relationships as long as you can find an equation and both i and j there. And that's also a uh, um, state transfer equation. So does not have to be one exactly to um, represent the, the other one. And it can be, you know, they together represent something. All right, I know it's a little bit tricky, but it's fine. As time goes on, uh, we'll be covering more and more dynamic programming questions. Um, the last part is initialization. Uh, again, the in, in initialization is quite different. Um, here is how we initialize it. So dp uh, i multiplied by i equals to 1. Now why is that? Because i multiplied by 1, this guy is a perfect square. i is a perfect square. So we just assign 1. So, uh, you know, by definition. All right. So we already resolved four subtasks. Let's see how we resolve this question. Um, num, num squares, this is our entrance. And... Uh, in this question, we're going to just initialize a DP array. Uh, we have to, uh, you know, allocate n plus one, um, you know, space because uh, our answer is DPN, and DP array actually starts from zero, so that's why we have to uh, allocate uh, n plus one. And this is for the uh, initialization. Uh, this is fine, right? We just, uh, you know, uh, starts from zero all the way to n. And we found all the perfect squares. Now, of course, all the perfect squares, their dpi multiplied by i is 1. And third part is, um, you know, the state transfer equation. We tried to resolve this. As usual, uh, we just, uh, you know, started with, um, uh, with one loop. We tried to, you know, start with, uh, uh, starts from 1 all the way to n. And like we mentioned, uh, we try to find the intermediate states between 0 and i, and we figure out their um, state transfer equations, that is dpi plus j multiplied by j uh, equals to main dpi plus 1 and dpi plus j multiplied by j. But we have to um, put this condition, if i plus j multiplied by j less than equals to n, we can do this. If this guy is greater than n, we just skip. Why? Because uh, dp array's uh, size is only n. Um, it's only n plus 1, so we cannot just uh, exceed uh, n, so that's why. So, after all these uh, for loops, you will just have all the dp values uh, in position. So, in n, we just return uh, dpn. Alright, so let's uh, let's run this. So it looks fine. Um, it's gonna, you know, pass partially, um, cause uh, okay, cool, cool. I I thought it's gonna just a timeout. That's great. So it means that this algorithm works. 
And again, um, this is the DP question. It's a little bit tricky because it is another kind of DP. We utilize the intermediate state um, to try to resolve the state state transfer equations using intermediate states. Um, and also the DP initialization is different. We initialize like the DP by definition because the definition is all about perfect squares. So that's how we initialize it. Um, and also um, when we allocate the uh, um, space, so we need to know that uh, uh, you don't, uh, uh, you know, go out of the index. So that's today's algorithm. Thanks, thanks for watching and uh, I see you in next video tutorials. And if you like this video and you can just uh, click subscribe. All right, thanks. Have a good one.